This is part of our intro series to Lead Yourself 2018, Themes Taking Action at the Gun Fields May 10th. So I have Sue Nash with me, Body Innovations, and just amazing human beings. So thank you for Thank you. Ride. I think you're amazing too. So. Thank you, thank you. Okay, enough compliment battles. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're, you're uh, speaking this year again at uh, the, the Lead Yourself event, which is amazing. We're stoked to have you. Um, and you, you talked about the idea of unconscious behavior. behavior. Yeah. So what is that? That is, um, as you, everybody, you know, we're all very, you know, conscious of how we're behaving, or we like to think we are. But actually, there's part of the brain, the limbic brain, that's responsible for um, your emotions and all your unconscious behavior. So there are things called tells and pacifiers. So things that are just hardwired into your brain, like the startle reflex. If you're startled, yeah. you just... You can't help it. Yeah. You're startled and you have a reaction to it. Well, there are, you know, when you're under a stress situation or somebody says something or you're uncomfortable, you will, there's often a tell, which is something that you do that indicates on a subconscious level what your body isn't happy It's physiologically going Yeah, through. yeah. And that you're, you know, you're not happy with that statement or maybe you're just ready to leave the situation. So unconsciously... You will move your body in certain ways and do certain things. Like if, if somebody was to say something to you and you didn't like it, you might like, ooh. You know. <laughs> a little and, scowl? And yeah, you might get a little scowl. Maybe you don't even know you're doing it. Maybe you do, but you may not even know. So if you're subtly looking for um, those tells, then you can um, use this information in any social situation. Like poker. Poker, <laughs> and even with your family, uh, business, it's, you know, I think a reason that people do come to leadership meetings is for the human connection. Right. And so that we can, you know, see that person uh, in, in person. Whether, you know, doing it online, we're all, you lose that factor. Yeah, that's interesting. So what's the pacifiers? The pacifier are things that you do when you get really uncomfortable. So somebody might take their hands and rub their thighs. Like oh, sweaty, so they're trying to the pacify sweaty. themselves. Yes. Or um, a big one is that for, say, men, if they're wearing a collared shirt, is they do neck venting. They pull their shirt away from their <laughs> neck. Or they actually go like this with their neck. And, you know, you're actually stroking your neck here, and this will uh, start to calm down your nervous system. I think I struck with you. Yeah, and doing touching the face. I think I do touching that. the face yeah. is a big one. Um, women often play with a necklace. Cool. And they often, for, for you know, and, and this is done by research, they touch this sternal notch in here. I like to... Uh, coming here so when they do this you're pacifying and you know it could just be something as simple as you know you're uncomfortable or you're just it's just not resonating you're trying to become more comfortable you didn't like it or whatever something you're like, is just oh, not I quite think about that like mm, not so sure right so then how does this translate in terms of leadership and how a leader might you know use that well, type of information I think you know we're all leaders so in any given situation, you need to be able to converse with a person and recognize when they might be uncomfortable. When are you, um, you know, maybe overstepping a boundary and how could you even make them more comfortable and how to make yourself more comfortable too. You know, unconscious behavior is even about knowing yourself really well too. And there are things you can do um, to actually, you know, these are pacifiers, there are pacifiers, but there are things you can do to really calm yourself down in any situation. But, you know, if you recognize some of these, uh, you know, tells, then you can actually use that to your advantage. Sure. Yeah, in, in, in any given situation. Well, knowing if someone's uncomfortable is massively yeah. important because then yeah. you can, like, change things to make them feel more comfortable. Well, like, yeah, and it can make or break a deal, you know. Sure. Like, you really want to be pushing that person who, who is actually pulling away from you. Right. You know, it's kind of like that movie. He's just not that into you. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you have to know, you know, when you're going to move forward and when to pull back and how to that. engage that. And That's my takeaway from this video. <laughs> go watch that movie. There you go. <laughs> Awesome. Well, we're super excited to see you at Lead Yourself and, and speaking and, and facilitating this discussion with, with the group. Um, and if you want to check it out, you can uh, you can register for it at, on Eventbrite. If you just search Leadership Lunch Guelph uh, or Lead Yourself Guelph, you'll be able to find it and, and register. So thank you again for Great. doing this, Sue. Thank you. You're the best. All right. All right. See you. See bye. you later. Bye-bye.